Hi, welcome and thanks for joining me today. If you are new here, feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos. Let me know how you find my channel and just say hi. I'd like to know where you come from. Today, I'd like to do a quick review on a couple of straps that I got from Dress Up Your Purse. You may have heard of this company from many YouTube channels and I thought that I would give it a try because I have been looking for colorful strap, leather strap for bags that need a crossbody strap. For example, I have this Dooney's really large Florentine leather bag that it only comes with this short shoulder strap. I thought that I would try out the strap from Dress Up Your Purse to see if it could match my bags and maybe use this bag as a crossbody bag. So two straps that I pick up, one is this in there, I think they call this their honey color. It has these yellow stitches. That's kind of one of the reasons why I picked this one because that's what my Dooney's bag has on it, the yellow stitches. So here is the strap in honey color. And then here's the one in black color. There, I believe they are a company that based in Texas, but I'm not sure if they they make any of their products. I suspect that these are probably made in China. In terms of the quality, the hardware seems decent. It has some weight to it. it. It does feel kind of like a solid metal, coated solid metal. So, but in terms of the leather, trying to show you the texture close up. I'm pretty sure they are made from genuine leather, which is some people call them bonded leather. So, it doesn't. This, the black one is pretty soft, but it doesn't quite feel like real leather, if you know what I mean. If you are familiar with my channel, I, I have bought a lot of handmade leather bags that use full grain leather. And this is definitely not it. Let's look at this one in honey color. The hardware is pretty good, but the leather itself, from the side of it, I think it's made from bonded leather or genuine leather. Especially the shoulder pad area, it could feel kind of plasticky. In terms of quality, I think they are okay. Not great in any way. I'm, I'm not impressed by their product, I'll be honest with you. For example, leather loop here is the one that to hold hold down the extra length of this strap. It's very loose. Not sure if you can see. Just slide off really easily. Even though I set it in place, but it would just sl slide off every time I pick it up. It's it's really loose. So. It's not holding on anything. It doesn't serve its purpose. The black one is a little bit better. It's tighter. Doesn't move. So the black one is great. It, it would really hold down the end tail of this strap. And it seems like the, the black one feel a little bit softer. A little bit more leather like. But the honey color, that one definitely feel a little bit more like plastic instead of like a leather strap. In terms of color, it doesn't really match my chestnut, dooney and bird bags. But with this honey color from Portland Leather Goods, I think they match up pretty well. So if you if you buy this toaster camera bag from Portland Leather Good and you want to remove this to use a re removable strap, 
you can consider getting the honey color one from dress up your purse but I do feel like the leather quality is is very different so you may not like that kind of combination anyway this is my quick review on the straps from dress up your purse I pay and bought this strap with my own money so I just want to share with you my honest reaction and first impression on this strap I'm sure they would last at least a couple of years with normal use but definitely not going to last for a very long time thanks for joining me today and i'll talk to you again soon bye